Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we'll be taking a look at two popular aircraft. This will be our second comparison video where we compare a single engine turboprop aircraft to a twin engine turboprop aircraft. Our first aircraft is the Beechcraft King Air C90 GTX. The next aircraft is the Piper M600 SLS, which is a variant of Piper's M-Class. If you want to skip the introduction of each aircraft, you can go to the timestamp on screen to watch the comparison of the specifications of these aircraft. In 2015, Piper introduced the M600 as an upgrade to the M500. It received its FAA certification on June 18, 2016. Between June 2016 and March 2018, 50 were delivered, mostly in the US and most were owned or flown. When Piper introduced the M600, they exceeded industry expectation for performance and operational ease in a single engine pressurized turboprop. A clean sheet designed wing was a key foundational enhancement that paved the way for product growth. Now they are using that platform to raise the bar in safety, luxury and support. The M600 SLS is setting new standards for aircraft in every category, meeting the highest standard in general aviation. Before we move on, I just wanted to point out that the Piper has a special safety system and it's called the Halo Safety System, which is a compilation of innovative technologies unique to the M600 SLS, including, but not limited to, hypoxia recognition with automatic descent mode which monitors pilot activity when the autopilot is engaged above 14,100 feet. If needed, it brings the aircraft to a lower altitude to allow recovery from hypoxia. If the pilot does not immediately recover, auto land will activate and land the aircraft. It also features automatic level mode, which is a blue button. It returns the aircraft to a wings level attitude with zero vertical speed at the push of a button and safe taxi, a highly detailed geo-referenced airport map which displays your aircraft's position on the airfield with an overlaid map of the whole short line. In 2009, Beechcraft announced the launch of the Beechcraft King Air C90 GTX with improvements to the passenger cabin. Beechcraft claims that the aircraft is a whole new world of flying that offers the impressive King Air qualities of performance combined with comfort and that the aircraft is a versatile workhorse which offers great range and payload due to its features like composite wings, swept blade propellers, and dual aft strakes. The King Air is the world's most popular business turboprop aircraft. The King Air C90 GTX has a very quiet cabin that features reclining seats in addition to spacious head and shoulder room. Also with Beechcraft's products, you get General Aviation's largest global support network. The flight deck of the King Air C90 GTX features Collins Aerospace ProLine Fusion Avionics. It comes with three 14-inch widescreen LCDs with advanced graphics. Some standard features include intuitive, graphical touchscreen flight planning. On the other hand, the flight deck of the Piper M600 SLS features Garmin's G3000 avionics suite. It also comes with three sleek 14-inch high-resolution cockpit displays, and some standard features include automatic flight guidance and control systems, weather, charts, traffic, terrain, and global connectivity points. Now we'll go ahead and compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for both the King Air C90 GTX and Piper M600 is Pratt & Whitney Canada. Along with that, they both have PT6A series engines. The Piper M600 has the Pratt & Whitney PT6A-42A engine model with a power rating of 600 shaft horsepower. The King Air C90 GTX is powered by two PT6A-135A engine models with a power rating of 550 shaft horsepower each. Both aircraft power plants are partnered with Hartzell 4 blade, constant speed and reversible propellers. Although there is also the option of five blade propellers for the Piper on newer models. Next is a comparison between the specifications of these aircraft. I normally start the comparison with the speed, but this time I wanted to start with payload and you'll see why. The King Air C90 GTX has a basic operating weight 
of 7,265 pounds, a max takeoff weight of 10,485 pounds, and a full fuel payload of 707 pounds. The Piper M600 has a basic operating weight of 3,650 pounds, a max takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds, and a full fuel payload of 658 pounds. That's a full fuel payload difference of just 49 pounds. Now that you've seen those numbers, when you see the capability of each aircraft, you'll understand why I compared them. When it comes to speed, the King SC90 GTX falls short. It has a max cruise speed of 272 knots, while the Piper M600 has a max cruise speed of 274 knots. Now we're looking at altitude. And as it turns out, both the King Air C90 GTX and Piper M600 have a max operating altitude of 30,000 feet. The max rate of climb while being fully loaded on these aircraft are 1,900 feet per minute for the King Air C90 GTX and 1,556 feet per minute for the Piper M600. Next, onto the range of these two aircraft. The King Air C90 GTX has a maximum range of 1,260 nautical miles, while the Piper M600 can fly a range of 1,658 nautical miles with 45 minute reserves when flying at 184 knots. But even at a faster 274 knots, it could fly 1,209 nautical miles, which is 51 nautical miles less than the King Air's maximum. Now let's talk about how much runway length these aircraft need to land. The landing distance for the King Air C90 GTX stands at 2,100 feet without an obstacle. The landing distance for the Piper M600 is 2,659 feet, but that includes a 50 foot obstacle. The King Air C90 GTX has a cost of about 3,900,000 US dollars. A standard equipped Piper M600 SLS in 2020 is around 2,850,000 US dollars. Now we'll go on to operational costs. Based on a $4.25 per gallon and 450 annual owner operated hours, the King Air C90 GTX cost approximately $1,636.03 an hour to operate. In contrast, the Piper M600 cost approximately $928.08 an hour to operate. Lastly, we're going to compare the interior dimensions. The King Air C90 GTX has a cabin length of 12 feet 7 inches, a cabin width of 4 feet 6 inches, and a cabin height of 4 feet 9 inches. The Piper M600 SLS has a cabin height of 12 feet 3 inches, a cabin width of 4 feet 1 inch, and a cabin height of 3 feet 11 inches. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to know your thoughts on the King Air C90 GTX and the Piper M600. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Mom the Aviator, and I'm out.